Welcome back to our channel, The Cup of Teach. This time, I'm going to discuss the sum and the product of the roots of quadratic equation. For sum of the roots, we will have x sub 1 plus x sub 2, or that is solution 1 plus solution 2 is equal to negative b over a. Product of the roots, we will have x sub 1 times x sub 2 is equal to c over a. For the equation, we will have here x squared minus the sum of the roots times x plus the product of the roots is equal to 0. Or x squared minus the quantity of negative b over a times x plus c over a is equal to 0. Sample. What is the sum and the product of the roots of 4x squared plus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0? First, you're going to identify the value of a, b, and c. So in the given equation, what is the value of a? Positive 4. How about the value of b? Positive 2. How about C? Negative 8. This time, we're going to solve the sum of the roots, which is negative B over A. By substitution, we will have negative, and the value of B is positive 2, over the value of A is positive 4. Then simplify, negative 2 over 4, and that is negative 1 over 2. Next is product of the roots. That is C over A. Then substitution. What is the value of C? Negative 8. And the value of A is positive 4. Then simplify. That is negative 2. Therefore, the sum is negative 1 half. And the product is negative 2. Second problem. What is the quadratic equation if the roots are negative 3 and positive 4? First, we are going to solve for the sum of the roots, product of the roots, before you go to the quadratic equation. So let's go first to the sum of the roots. Sum is negative 3 plus 4 that is positive 1. Product of the roots, negative 3 times 4, that is negative 12. And then in the quadratic equation, we will have x squared minus the sum of the roots times x plus the product of the roots is equal to 0. Then you just copy x squared, then substitute the value for the sum of the roots, which is positive 1. Then copy x plus the product of the roots is negative 12 is equal to 0. Then this time, we're going to simplify it. We will have now x squared minus x minus 12 is equal to 0. Number 3. The roots of the equation are 3 over 4 and negative 1 half. What is the quadratic equation? First, solve for the sum of the roots, product of the roots, before you go to the quadratic equation. So let's go first to the sum of the roots. 3 over 4 plus negative 1 half, since the fractions have different denominators, we need to determine the least common denominator. So what is the least common denominator? Or so let us divide it now. 4 divided by 4, multiply it by 3, that is positive 3. 4 divided by 2, multiply it by negative 1, that is negative 2. And then simplify 1 fourth. Product of the roots, 3 over 4 times negative 1 half. So you just multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. We will have now negative 3 over 8. 
So, this time, we can solve now the quadratic equation. x squared minus the sum of the roots times x plus the product of the roots is equal to 0. Just copy x squared minus sum of the roots is 1 fourth. Just copy x plus product of the roots is negative 3 over 8 is equal to 0. Since we have fraction terms, we need to multiply both sides by the LCD. So the LCD is 8. Let us multiply now 8 times x squared. 8x squared. 8 times 1 fourth. That is 8 over 4. Just copy x. 8 times negative 3 over 8. That is negative 24 over 8. 8 times 0, that is 0. And then simplify. 8x squared minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. Try this. What is the quadratic equation if the roots are 5 plus the square root of 2 and 5? Minus the square root of 2. First, solve for the sum of the roots. Product of the roots before you go to the quadratic equation. So let's go first to the sum of the roots. 5 plus the square root of 2 plus the quantity of 5 minus the square root of 2. So 5 plus 5, 10. Square root of 2 plus Negative square root of 2, that is 0, or you can cancel it. Therefore, the sum of the roots is positive 10. Product of the roots, we will have 5 plus the square root of 2 times 5 minus the square root of 2. So, since this is sum and difference, we will just multiply the first terms and the last terms. So, we will have now 5 times 5, that is 25. Then square root of 2 times negative square root of 2, that is negative square root of 4. And 4 is perfect square, therefore we will have now negative 2. And then simplify it, that is positive 23. Then let's go now to the quadratic equation. So by substitution, we just copy x squared minus sum of the roots is 10. Copy x plus the product of the roots is 23 is equal to 0. Therefore, the quadratic equation is x squared minus 10x plus 23 is equal to 0. Thank you for watching. That's it for this video. If you learned something here, don't forget to like and subscribe to Cup of Teach. See you on the next lesson. Bye!